Hi everyone, welcome back to the Peace Center's Peace Begins at Home video series, where we bring you tips and tools for creating peace in your home with your family. My name is Kate Whitman, and I'm the Director of Educational Programming at the Peace Center. And today I'll be talking with you about how to hold a circle process in your home. So a circle process is a particular way of resolving a conflict. And when you hold a circle, you're bringing together everyone who is impacted by the conflict and you're finding a way to repair those relationships. If you have not watched videos one through five, I recommend doing that before watching this one because they'll be really helpful to you. So often when a conflict happens, our focus might be on what the consequence or punishment might be. If you hold a circle process, there might still be a consequence for harmful behavior, but the real focus of the circle is how to repair the relationships that have been damaged in that conflict. And there are three steps to holding a circle. Step one, you want to set up the space and open up the circle when you bring everyone together. Step two, you have a time of sharing and listening. Step three, you close out the circle, and hopefully, if it went well, you close it out with an agreement. So I'm going to go through each of these steps and tell you how they each work. Step number one, opening the circle. What you'll do here is, let's say it's your children who are in a conflict. You'll bring your children together, hopefully in a quiet space in your home, have them sit in some sort of circular design so they can see each other's faces, and first, congratulate them for coming together to work out their conflict. Second, make a social contract. If you have not watched video one about social contracts, definitely go back and do that. So create some guidelines for how they'll treat each other in the circle. Introduce a talking piece. A talking piece is a very special object that each person in the circle holds when they are speaking. And it's a great way to make sure that each person can speak without interruption. This is a rose quartz heart that I use when I go into schools, but you can use any special object that your children would really love and respect. And just remind your children, you know, we're here not to place blame, but to make this situation better. Step number two is when your children will share and listen with each other. Now your job in this scenario is to ask your children some questions about the conflict and how they're feeling. So you'll ask them, you know, what happened? How do you feel about it? How did you feel at the time? What do you need for this to be better? And also, what can you yourself do to make the situation better? Circles are really big on accountability, so you want each person involved to be able to say at least one thing that they're going to do to make the conflict better. And really encourage your children to use iMessages during this part of the circle. If you have not watched the video on iMessages, definitely go back and do that. And then step number three, once it seems that your children have been able to share fully, is closing out the circle. So in this step, you want to summarize back what you have heard from each of your children. You want to see if there's any common ground in what they said. So maybe they both are feeling excluded by each other. That could be common ground. And then you want to make an agreement or rather have your children make an agreement because the solution should come from them. So this is where you're really asking each child, okay, what can you agree to do moving forward? write down all the ideas, and then see which ones they think are best. Make your agreement really specific. So for example, the agreement might be, you know, we will play together in the morning, and then we each have our alone time in the afternoon after lunch. Something that they can both agree to that's really specific. Um, and then have your children sign the agreement and do something to symbolize that they resolve their conflict. It can be shaking hands, hugging, dancing, anything really joyful that's a little celebration for them. And then hang that agreement somewhere in the house where it's easy for them to see and a reminder of what they agreed to do to hopefully stay out of conflict or be able to resolve conflict if it comes up again. So those are your circle steps. 
If you have found these videos helpful, please do give us a like, share them with whoever you think might be interested in them, and also consider if you are able making a donation to the Peace Center. Usually at this time, we would be in schools doing a lot of programming. Right now, we're all at home, so we would so appreciate any support that you are able to give. So thank you so much for watching, and we will be back with some more tips and tools.